Max Payne has no capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Brevera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now.
Gagnetti ran out of steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shake down time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in a home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As 